morning. Welcome to this video session. My name is Samuel Dominic Chuku Emeka, aka Sam Dunk for Peace. In this video session, we shall continue our discussion on cryptology. Uh, this is part three. Uh, cryptology part one, we decoded a secret message using a two by two matrix. Cryptology part two, we decoded a secret message using a three by three matrix. So, uh, those ones are matrices, using matrices for cryptology. That is, we did that in part one and part two. In this part three, we shall talk about uh, Bacon Cipher. Uh, some people will also say that he used stigano, steganography. Steganography. Okay, so, um, overview, you know, we, we say that cryptology, uh, and if you have not viewed the first two videos, that's fine. Uh, you can still view this one. Uh, because this method is different from matrices. Totally different from matrices. Totally different. So, um, an overview of cryptology. We say that uh, cryptology is the science of, uh, we say, the encoding and decoding. Encoding and decoding, or uh, encrypting and decrypting, encrypting and decrypting, or writing and cracking, writing and cracking, or Making and breaking, <laughs> making and breaking, or uh, what else? Uh, enciphering and deciphering, enciphering and deciphering, deciphering. Secret messages, codes, text. Okay? We discussed that in parts one and part two. We talked of overview of cryptology. Okay. Uh, in this video, we shall now mention steganography. 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 Uh, this is. Steganography is. Uh, the uh, you can say method or practice of hiding a secret message within a message. So you see a message in plain sight, okay? But on that, but inside that message, there is another secret message inside that message. So uh, they uh, they process or practice of hiding a secret message within a message okay hiding a secret message within a message or inside a message okay that is what we call steganography steganography the practice or the method or the process of hiding a secret message inside a message. Okay. Some people might say hiding a secret message in plain sight because you're seeing a message actually however there is a secret message in that message. <laughs> okay? So this was what this guy used. Francis Bacon. Francis Bacon. Uh, Francis Bacon used that uh, method of steganography to uh, develop his cipher, what we call Bacon cipher. So, what did he actually do? Uh, he used 
you know he you know you have a message and inside that message a message you just see in plain sight but that is not the actual message that is not the actual secret message so in that message you see in plain sight there is a secret message inside that message but it is hidden <laughs> so uh, un unless you know this uh, bacon cipher you cannot figure it out so um, let's start let what we are going to do in this video is that we shall let us write a message and we will now decode that secret message inside in that message okay uh, then I will, we will now go back to how you can encode it, how we got back to that message. How about it? So let us first of all decode the secret message or decipher the secret message and then we now go back to how we can encode that message. Uh, later on I will talk, we will talk about in those first two videos we can talk about how you can encode the messages. Uh, I know we talked about decoding it using matrices but we didn't talk about encoding it so watch out for more videos about encoding those mess those secret messages however this video we shall do both decoding and encoding okay let me repeat Francis Bacon's cipher is deals with using steganography okay Francis Bacon uh, he developed his cipher by method using the method of steganography which means hiding a secret message inside a plain message okay hiding a secret message inside a plain message so you see a plain message but that is not the message that was intended there is a secret message in that message okay so let us look at this um, let's see an example Uh, M may may we may we please okay at least lower case may we please Love, may we please love one another. Okay, may we please love one another. Okay, this is the this is the plain message. Okay, so you look at this message here. May we please love one another. And the first thing that comes to your mind is why are some letters lowercase and some letters are uppercase? <laughs> why? <laughs> What's the meaning? You know, that is the first thing that comes to your mind. Why don't you just write, may we please love one another? Well, that is the thing there, okay? In this video, we, we are making it uppercase and lowercase. Uh, Francis Bacon used fonts, different fonts. Uh, I cannot use the same, like this is chalkboard, I'm using chalk. So I'm not, you know, I, I'm not using a font. So I'm using lowercase and uppercase so that it can make sense to you. However, in the actual uh, Bacon cipher, you can use different fonts, different fonts rather than using a uh, lowercase and uppercase letters you can use different fonts so for this video because i'm using chalk i'm using lowercase letters and uppercase letters as you can see in may a and y are uppercase m is in lowercase we is in uppercase 
in please the e only the e okay after the l the e is uppercase uh, love is all lowercase one is all lowercase another only the h only the h is in uppercase let me go ahead and uh, kind of let me circle the ones in uppercase so let me just circle this ones in uppercase so you see what i'm talking about okay also the a here the a is uppercase in another so one two three four five so <laughs> okay so you see the ones in uppercase just like if, if it's in the actual uh, if it's in the actual cipher any font you notice that is different you might want to circle it okay so these ones one two uh, three four five we see in uppercase uh, we are going it it has a meaning to it the lowercase and uppercase they all have meaning to it okay so uh, that is what that is the what we are going to now do in this video to decode the secret message inside this message okay um, the first thing we are going to do is this with this bacon cipher uh, he used uh, by well he used a and b okay he used a a b a and b he used a and b however we will use zero and one binary we're gonna use zero and one okay binary or base two or base two so you will need to know number basis okay i've done videos on number basis also uh, because we will not have time to list the whole uh, 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 binary uh, the whole uh, binary digits for all the alphabets we will not have time to do that in that video I mean in this video however you can uh, you if you go to this website uh, www.modular-arithmetic.appspot.com you can um, you can convert any from the you can convert any number in any base to add to another not to any to to another base okay you can convert any number in any base well i think from base 2 to base 16 is what i put there so you can convert any number from base 2 to base 16 to any base from base 2 to base 16 so you can verify we are going to convert just what we need for this message i'll show you how to do that and you can verify with this calculator okay so the, uh, we are going to get five five uh, with bacon cipher it uses five digits five binary digits five 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 okay five five binary digits so we are gonna get uh, this five may we we will get that okay then we will get a uh, then we get a uh, uh, p l e a s five five okay then we get e love then we have one a n and then we have o t h e r so you see five five okay so this tells you right away that the secret message is five letters right away because each of this is a letter according to Bacon's cipher now Bacon used A and B but we are going to use 0 and 1 
okay binary uh, base or base 2 so here what you just get it in 5 5 multiples of 5 I mean in 5 5 okay uh, and because with bacon cipher the uh, it uses 5 binary digits 5 binary digits for each alphabet for each letter alphabet it uses 5 binary digits okay so for instance see what I'm talking about for instance uh, uh, A A is uh, 0 okay in decimal A decimal this this is alphabet let me say alphabet decimal decimal and then binary in five digit five digit binary conversion okay so like your a a is zero and of course it is zero 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 it's five digits <coughs> okay with a bacon he would have said a a a a a a a a a a okay now b is one b is one and one decimal in the to convert one to base two because in base two zeros and ones are acceptable are the only acceptable numbers so five digit binary will be zero 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 one Okay, uh, now your C is 2, is 2, and then you want to come back to in base 2, so 2 in base 2, you have to uh, convert that, you have to down do, uh, and you can use the calculator to verify what I'm doing now, so we convert 2 in base 2, so 2 into 2 is 1, remainder 0, 2 into, we want to convert 2 in decimal to binary, okay? That is what we want to do. 2 in decimal to binary. So, then 2, in, two divide 1, this is 0, remainder 1. So, and you count it upwards. You count it upwards. So, 2 is 1, 0, base 2. We don't say 10, base 2, no. We don't say that. Okay, one zero in base two. So two is one zero base two, and you just put zero zero zero. Yeah. Okay, that is the way you get it. We will not list all the alphabets. Okay, that will make this video to be too long. No. <laughs> so we will not list all the alphabets. Let us list the ones that we need. Let's see the ones that we need. Okay, so. Uh, that is what you, you know you can get the whole decimal from 0, A is 0, B is 1, C is 2, D is 3, so Z will be 25, Z, the last alphabet, rather than 26, Z is 25, okay, the last alphabet is 25, because you now, you started from 0, you started from 0, so the last alphabet is Z25, and you convert 25, 25 in decimal system to decimal, 25 in decimal base to the equivalent binary base. Okay, that is, you get the whole, that is how you get the whole cipher. Okay, it's five digit binary, uh, five digit binary cipher for the 26 letters of the alphabet but you start A with 0 not 1 okay so uh, A is 0 that means Z will be 25 rather than 26 okay so you get the first thing you want to decode you want to decode the secret message inside this message put it in 5 because uh, Bacon cipher uses five-digit binary. Then, uh, 
here for this because I'm using chalkboard uh, lowercase letter is zero okay and uppercase is one so this lowercase here is zero and I have one 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 you see that zero one 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 okay then this is lowercase this p is lowercase so this is zero zero one zero zero okay this is zero 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 of course this gives you a letter a right away okay this gives you letter a right away then this is a uh, here this is zero 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 one zero okay and this is zero zero one zero zero okay now let us get let us see what this letter mean we already know zero 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 this is our a let me write this with this a this is a okay zero 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 now let's find what and then zero 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 one zero see it we've done it already so this is c is that c now let us go ahead and find what this this and this means okay let's find what it means remember uh, we are using letters of the alphabet we start the first letter a with zero and the last letter z will be 25 so let us find the decimal the decimal equivalent okay this is in binary so uh, like i said lowercase zero for this because i'm using chalk uh, if it was bacon cipher it's different fonts so with those different fonts you can tell so lowercase is zero uppercase one okay so let's find the decimal what this is in decimal form and then we can now figure out the alphabet what is it in the alphabet and then we can find the we can decode the message okay and uh, so uh, I'm going to just write uh, because I need I need to uh, write what each of this is A is 0, B is 1, C is 2 and this is the decimal D is 3, E 4, F 5, E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z A B C D E F G H I J K L O M O N Right? <laughs> I, I, I can't remember A B C D E N G H I J K L L Q L Q L Yeah H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W, X, Y, and Z. <laughs> this was what we sang in elementary school. A, B, C, D, E, N, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, don't mind my dog, please. A, B, C, D, E, N, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, O, S, T, U, V, W X Y Z. Now I know my A B C. Come right now and sing with 
Mm. Okay, that is <laughs> let's get back to business. So this is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, so conversion from binary to decimal, we have done it in video, we've done it, okay? And you can use this calculator to check your answer, to convert it. You can modular-arithmetic.appspot.com You can use the calculator to convert a number in from base 2 to 16 hexadecimal base to any base okay all right so let's go ahead this this, this binary let's find the decimal so 0 1 1 1 1 base 2 this will be uh, 1 2 3 4 5 okay so this is 2 raised to power uh, this is 2 raised to power 5 2, two raised to power 4 2 raised to power 3, 2 raised to power 2, 2 raised to power 1, 2 raised to power 0. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 2 raised to power 4, 2 raised to power 3, 2 raised to power... So I'm not going to waste my time with 0. This is 1 times 2 raised to power 3, plus 1 times 2 raised to power 2, plus 1 times 2 raised to power 1, plus 1 times 1. 2 raised to power 0 is 1. Okay? So we've done, I've done this in video, okay, binary to decimal conversion, so you can view that video. So this is 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. 8 plus 4, 12, plus 2, 14 plus 1, 15, 15, and our 15 is P, our 15 is P, P, so this is P, okay. This is not a super pack, no, not politics, no. This, this end politics, this end politics, bro. This end, this end politics, bro. Okay, this one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero. This is actually only one times, uh, this is two raised to power two, two squared, okay? One times two squared, and this is one times four. 1 times 4, which is 4. <coughs> what is our 4? E. Our 4 is E. Okay? And this is the same thing. This is E. Peace! Yay! Some dumb for peace. <laughs> Some dumb for peace. <laughs> Yay! Peace. So that is the secret message that's the secret message there just you see the message in plain sight may we please love one another but actually the message the secret message inside that message is peace okay and we need to love one another and we need peace in this world peace and love love and peace Peace and love. That is what we need in this world, honestly. We need that in this world. Okay, so how do we encode it? Okay, uh, how you have this message, peace. How do you encode it to get this, uh, to get this message? How do you encode it? Because what we just did was, we, they gave us the message, we decoded it. But now we are giving this actual message, this secret message, let us encode it, encode it. So we know this, P is this, E is that, okay? We know this, like you, you know the word, this. Then, of course, you write that your P is 0, 
one, 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 one. Your E, because that is what you're giving now. You now want to encode it to get back this. E is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. A is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. It has to be 5 digits. 5. Because it's 5 digit binary. Okay? We know that P is 15, which is now 0, 1, 1. Let me, for, let me write it first. 15, and that is 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay? In base 2, E is uh, 4, and that is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. A is 0, and that is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay? C is 2, and that is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. And we have our E. E is 4, and that is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, so this is what we are giving. We can now encode it. We can encode that. So, what we now come, we now say, okay, the actual message we want to send is this. We now ask ourselves, okay, uh, this is a, uh, peace is five letters, okay, peace is five letters, is five letters, and we know that we have binary, five digit binary, five digit binary, okay, we know we have five digit binary. So we now do 5 times 5, it gives us 25. So we look for, we look for a sentence that has 25 characters, okay? We look for 25 word, look for a 25 word sentence, look for a 25 word sentence. Okay, well, we look for a 25 word sentence. And then I was thinking peace and love, peace and love, peace and love. So uh, we now say, okay, may we please, may we please. Love one another, and the question mark doesn't make any point. Okay, periods question mark. We don't. It doesn't make any point. Now, for matrices, for cryptology part one and part two, that we used matrices. The periods and question mark has values. All right. <coughs> So this is a 25 word sentence, if you count it, it's 25, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay. And you can, you know, sometimes books will say it doesn't matter if you get 28. It doesn't matter if you get 29. Okay. But we want to keep it in 5 bits. Okay, in 5 bits. But even it doesn't matter if you don't keep it in multiples of 5. It does not matter. Okay. But we want to keep it in multiples of 5. So, uh, you now ask yourself, uh, we now come, after we read, write out the 25 word sentence, we now come and begin we will get we'll put it in fives okay we'll put it in fives may we then please please e love um, one and order ok 
in, we put it in 5. And then, remember we want peace. We want this to be peace. Remember, that is our aim. Okay, we want this to be peace. That's our aim. So we come here again, and we write may we, P-L-E-A-S, E love, one and order. Okay? Then we now come and begin to, uh, then we now come and begin to uh, write the codes on top of it. This should be zero, one, 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 one. This is a uh, E is zero, zero, one, zero, zero. Okay? Uh, e, uh, A is zero, 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 zero. C is zero, 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 one, zero. And then E is zero, zero, one, zero, zero. Okay? So once we now write this, we now, uh, we now, uh, we now, anywhere we see zero, we put lowercase letter. Anywhere we see one, we put uppercase letter. Okay? Anywhere we see zero, we put lowercase. Anywhere we see one, we put uppercase. So zero, lowercase, one here, A, Y, W, E, because this is one, 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 one. Then P is lowercase, L, lowercase, E here is uppercase, A, lowercase, S, lowercase. Okay? Then, E, L, O, V, E are all lowercase because they are zeros. Okay? Then this zero here, lowercase. Uh, and um, this O, because zero is on top of O, O will be lowercase. Uh, N will be lowercase. E, lowercase. One is on top of A, so we make A, uppercase. Okay? And then this N is lowercase, lowercase N. Then O here is lowercase, T is lowercase, H is uppercase, E is lowercase, R is lowercase. And you put your question mark. So this is how we, we form it here. And then, of course, if you give someone this, the person might ask, what is this guy talking about? So, we still, we still want to make it, we want to make it, we want to make it to, to, to look like a good, like a meaningful sentence. Okay? Uh, and, you know, you, this is kind of weird here because I'm using lowercase and uppercase, so you can easily figure it out. But if I use different fonts, maybe you wouldn't know. If I use different fonts for it, <laughs> okay, maybe you would not know. Okay, if I use different fonts, and that is the that is the technique there. So uh, that's because Cipher uses different fonts. So now you can you don't, you don't want to leave it like this. You want to at least make it to have meaning. Okay, so we just write it now. We now write may. M is lowercase. May then we please. Oh, L is lowercase. Then E uppercase. A S E. May we please love one another. And that is how we get to 
That is how we get to this. That's how we get to it. Okay? So, I hope it makes sense to you. Do you like it? Okay. And if you have any questions, this is how we decoded it and then we got back to it. Okay? And thank you so much.